My name is Susan Griffiths and in a few days time I'm going to be flying to Europe where I'm going to visit a Swiss clinic asking them to help me uh, to die with dignity and without pain. Um, I have to go to Switzerland because there's no such service offered in Canada for Canadians who are drastically ill and, and want not to live anymore and the only places that you can go well, the only place you can go is Switzerland, so that's where I'm going to. It's taken a long time to organize lots of paperwork and lots of expense, but it's what I want because I do not want to live in with the conditions that I have now. I'm going to read to you a letter that is being sent next week to all members of parliament in order to ask them to change the laws or to make new laws that it allows a person to, to die with dignity, to go to a doctor and seek help from a doctor. We have nothing like this here at all. If you want to die here, you have to do it yourself. And I, I won't go into the details of how you do that because they're grisly. But I'm sending this personal letter to the members of parliament and the ju justices of, of the ministers of justice uh, as well. This is a personal and heartfelt request for your attention. My story is this. Healthy and very active at 70, I was quite suddenly diagnosed with multiple systems atrophy, MSA, a gradual but complete breakdown of the body. I am still mobile, but in just two years, I have been forced to give up all my active interests, from tennis to gardening to theater to making Sunday dinner for my grandchildren, and many basic skills like driving, riding my bike, and walking independently. I hurt all the time, and I take prescribed medicines, many of them, every day and night. Life expectancy with MSA is an, in, in, an incurable condition is about 10 years. I would eventually lie in bed heavily sedated with mechanical contrivances and shifts of impersonal caregivers tending to my every bodily function. I have chosen not to live with this extended life sentence and have sought the help of a Swiss entity in the only country I know of to accept non-residents for compassionate end-of-life solutions. By the time you read this, I will have travelled, while I still can, to Europe, accompanied by family who have accepted my decision to make this, take this action my own life and who will be with me at my peaceful and painless end. I would much have preferred to die in Canada. My request to you is that you, my government, reconsider Canada's current position and work very, very hard towards legalizing doctor-assisted suicide here. It will not be for everyone and many will reject the very idea for various reasons. But please imagine yourself or a loved one in my position and support a free vote to give Canadians the right and privilege of choice in this most important and personal decision.